The home cooks are racing to finish a classic bistro dish, steak frites with Bernays sauce. The person with the weakest dish will be going home. Final two minutes, you should be plating. There's only three components on the plate. They all have to be perfect. Everything has to kind of come together in harmony in order to be a delicious experience. Otherwise, you're gonna have cold frites, hot steak, Bernays sauce, which is thick and gloopy. You don't want that. Time's up, and I'm like, yes, got it all down. It was really close to get those fries down, but I'm actually feeling pretty good about it. I have no idea how my steak is cooked on the inside. It could be raw, it could be overcooked. I'm not overly confident right now. I don't know if I've done enough to make it to the top four. I finished everything. My sauce tastes great, my fries are perfect, and I believe my steak's a perfect oh. medium rare. I can't go home, I really can't. It's time to taste your steak frites and find out who will be leaving the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Please bring your plates to the front. Kayla, we asked for a steak to be cooked perfect, medium rare. What am I gonna see when I cut your steak open? Um, nice and crisp on the outside and a beautiful medium rare on the inside. You're confident of that? Never too confident. It certainly is a little darker on the outside than I might expect. Okay. That is a nicely cooked, medium rare steak. Yes. See it quite nicely. It's a little dark in some areas, which would lead me to believe maybe the pan was a little too hot. Yes, Chef. But the cook is perfect, medium rare. The difference of color from the searing from the outside edge to a richer, deeper pink as it moves to the center. Beautiful. Thank you, Chef. It's very, very good. The seasoning is spot on also. Thank you, Chef. I was very concerned that you were putting too much on. Kayla. Hi, Chef. You happy? Um, I'm very happy with my steak and my Bernays. These uh, french fries? Try one. What do you think? I think they're cooked. I think they need more color on the outside, though. I definitely agree with you that it needs a lot more sun, I think. Looking at my fries, all I'm thinking is, where is my purse? I need my bronzer right now. These fries are pasty. I would pay for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's delicious. Much. It's well balanced, great acidity. How did you master a Bernays in one hour? You made it before? Uh, third time's a charm. Uh, this is my, my third time, but I, um, I, I eat a lot of it, so I know what it's supposed to taste like. It took me hundreds of times to master the basic, humble hollandaise sauce, which is the mother of this sauce. And you've done that three times. Thank you, Chef. Had you nailed the fries, you'd probably have one of the best steak frites with Bernays that I've ever had. It's so close. Yes, Chef. So, Eric, what am I going to see when I cut your steak open? Perfect medium rare, Chef. That's pretty confident. Glistening, beautiful, very nice. Thank you, Chef. A nice sear on the steak on the outside and all the way around. See the color differences around the edge as it comes to the center. It is much darker and richer pink. Perfect. Thank you, Chef. Very nicely seasoned. That's about as good as it gets on a steak. Eric, looks very impressive. That came to me in the restaurant, I would be a happy man. Thank you, Chef. French fries, that's nice. That's consistency, that's uniform. But then we're the crispy expert, right? Yes, Chef. I can basically almost, you know, hear the crunch. I would give this a very good pass. Thank you, Chef. Maybe a bit more. You know, when this dish is made properly, it has complete harmony. There's nowhere to hide, though, here. I'm talking about fries, steak, and a sauce. What happened here? I don't know, Chef. It's very thick. You couldn't even pour the Bernays sauce out. It's not uh, Bernays sauce, it's Bernays mayonnaise. It would really suck if I just went home and disappointed my family. 
I hope it tastes better than it looks. Me too, Chef. I am taking the biggest breath. I think I have a good chance to win this challenge. At this point, I'm thinking my sauce could definitely send me home. <sighs> Mike? Boy, hey, Chef. We asked for a steak to be cooked perfect, yeah. medium rare. Is that what I'm going to find when I cut into the steak? I sure hope so, Chef. As soon as Michael cut into that, I'm like, I'm going home for sure. That is not medium rare. No. Mike's steak is still moving. It's really tough. But Mike could be going home on a blue steak. Fuck. I just didn't get the sear I needed on it before I got in the oven there. You were the only one that took it to the oven? Uh, yeah. Do you think it was in the oven and out of, uh, out of your mind? No, usually, like, if I get a good sear in a skillet and five minutes in the oven at 325 will usually do it right for me, but I just didn't have the residual heat going into the oven. Nicely seasoned, though. Thank you. Very nicely seasoned. Are you happy with the result? I'm really kicking myself over that steak. I would be, too. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Hello, Chef. French fries? What do you think about them? Uh, there's a bit of a couple uneven cuts there, Chef. It would have been nice if I had a moment to definitely pick out some of the a couple larger scragglers got in there. With french fries, tastes pretty good. Crispy, soft, right consistency, nice size. Chef. How are you? I had better afternoons, for sure. That blue steak, there's no excuse. That cow's still mooing. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's not a perfect medium rare, but it is a perfect rare which is not a bad thing for some people who like rare meat. The Bernays now. Nice consistency. Thank you, Chef. I like the shine to it. It's beautiful. This looks pretty textbook. I made a few Bernays this in my time. Well, I like the way it coats the back of the spoon, which is one of the tests for all apprentices when they make a Bernays. And it coats it beautifully. How does it taste? Hmm. It's delicious. Thank you, Chef.